today is about the celebration of the 75th anniversary of the Windrush generation, all started back in 1948, 75 years ago. But that period is called the beginning or the start of the migration of Caribbean Commonwealth citizens to the UK. It says in most history books that um, the people of the Caribbean came here to help Britain build after the Blitz in World War II and um, the German attacks that destroyed most of London and a few of the other cities and towns. So many people aboard um, went into the um, NHS, which was a fledgling NHS at the moment, so that would become our National Health Service. Many went into the services, back into the services after serving um, in the war. Um, and also people contributed things like music, food, culture, politics. So there's so much that we can learn from what we call the Windrush generation. Um, but it's really important to remember that the 75th anniversary, that's just one, one facet of a much, much broader picture. So they brought people from Jamaica, Ireland, Scotland and many others that they owed maybe America so they can have more workers and by doing so they promised them better education, better medical systems, entertainment and more festivals and traditions that they brought over from their colonies so that they can feel more familiar and not be uh, sad about leaving. The economy wasn't that good in the Caribbean and then not only that uh, there were invitation by the NHS and also London Transport for more workers for the UK but many of the Caribbeans came over they had uh, what you call skills that would have benefited the UK uh, from artists to um to uh, carpenters, to engineers, we have a hat maker aboard, we have people that served in the services and as I said went on to work in healthcare. So it's really important to acknowledge the kind of diversity of stories aboard. I think that's, that's what I find the most interesting. Windrush was used to transport people from like Jamaica and places like that to then bring them to England so that they could then be helpful to the British in rebuilding England. Obviously the Empire Windrush is one ship that travelled in the post-war period from the Caribbean to Tilbury where we're standing right now and it's kind of um, symbolic of that wave of migration in that time. The Windrush was used by Germany until the war ended um, when Britain took it as a war prize and made it the Empire Windrush. It was built in Germany um, 13th of December 1930 and it was first launched in Hamburg and it was originally called the MV Monterosa. In 1954, the station here was opened as Tilbury Fort Station. Within, in 1934, the station was renamed to Tilbury Riverside Station. In, uh, in late 1944, the, the sidings next to the station was hit by a V2 rocket, destroying four freight coaches and 150 passenger coaches, with the significance being the freight coaches were used as medical vans for fruit troops coming back from the front lines. In 1988, the, the service from here to South End was cancelled, causing half of the station to be abandoned. In late 1992, the station was fully abandoned, with, with passenger services being moved over to Tilbury Town Station. Two years later, the, the railway that was running it went bankrupt. was made by artist Eve Wright to memorise the people who walked down this walkway into Britain for the first time to rebuild. When you hear these stories, you think creatively, how am I going to use it, you know? And then I've got this structure, this bridge. Uh, when those stories, my initial installation travelled around and I, got, I came to Tilbury, I didn't have enough. So what I did was I asked the wider community 
to say, look, send me your family uh, pictures if you can. And 130 families across the UK sent me those images. So they so you imagine them them arriving by by uh, email and by post. So I've got all these images, and then I've got this great, beautiful 55 meter structure. So I had to think, figure, find a way of showcasing that work, showcasing those images. You can see pictures of them in the windows, their passports, their tickets. All of the um, things that were to do with the journey have been made to be part of the windows. There's, there's, there's windows that, that talk about the NHS. There's windows that talk about fashion. There's windows that talk about men and women. There's windows that there's personal stories where what I recorded. So when you walk through the, the walkway of memory, you're surrounded by all this beautiful history and all these images that kind of take you back in time a little bit. But it's quite, it's quite modern in, in a funny kind of way also because it, you're doing it now. There are QR codes so you can listen to their stories. And, um, you can see like tickets about how like, people cancel and stuff. You can see who went on the um, boat to England. The reason behind my work is to give visibility to a, a community that for years and years have really been um, ignored really in the UK and the light hasn't been shown, been shown positively on, a, uh, on the Windrush generation and I felt that as a, I needed to create something that for the public to really look at that generation and, pay, and really um, inform them about the endeavour, a lot of those individuals who were part of, they weren't uh, foreigners, they were British citizens that lived, just lived in another country. So they were literally coming home to rebuild the motherland Britain. So I wanted to create a, 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 a public artwork that would be attractive and informative at the same time. My name is Alex and the things I learned during, during this uh, trip was uh, the past of the Windrush and how it was made in Germany instead of being in Britain. Hi, I'm Alfie and uh, I like when we went to the train station part and we learned about how a bomb hit, hit the um, train station. Hi, I'm Daniel and the, my favourite thing that I've done today is just talking about trains. I'm Finlay. Today, I went to the Tilbury port I really enjoyed looking at all the murals and artwork of the Empire Windrush. My name is Lenny and I learned today about the old train station that was here at Tilden Court. And today I learned about the Windrush, um, where people came from different cultures to, to Britain. And, then, and today we learned about how the Empire Windrush went from places like the Cur the other Caribbean, Jamaica and other places like that. My name's Aidan and today we went to, went to the Tilbury Docks and Tilbury Park. I'm Aidan Cameron and I was the sound person. Again, I can't thank you enough and also your school, the organisation for allowing you to come because this is only going to um, enrich your experience but also understand a little bit more about the contributions of the Windrush generation. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to say bye bye and well done to all of you and keep up, keep up the, the really good work. This is good work. This is great work.